In this video, we will review the Invoke Code activity. You can use this activity to invoke bb.net or c -sharp code. You can optionally pass a list of input arguments and return arguments to the caller workflow. So when is this Invoke Code activity useful? First, if you want to simplify data manipulation procedures in your workflow, or second, if you want to reduce the number of assigned and invoke method activities by replacing several with a single invoke code activity. We will be using this workflow as a sample. I did this before when I didn't know how to use the invoke code activity. The main function of this workflow is to add some working or business days to a given date. Here I have three arguments, the in start date, in working days to be added, and the out end date. I also have two variables, the end date and the day counter that increments if the day of the week is not Saturday or Sunday. This workflow starts by initializing the day counter and end date variables. Then I use a do while activity that keeps looping while the day counter variable is less than the in working days argument. In each loop, I use assign activity to add one day to the given date. Using the if activity, I validate if the date, day of the week name is not equals to Saturday or Sunday. If not, using the assign activity, I will increment the day counter variable and another assign activity to set the out end date argument. This workflow is working. For example, we want to know the date if we add 5 business days from the current date. Today is September 1, so the result should be September 8. Let's test it. And yes, this is still working. And we can simplify this code by using the invoke code activity, especially if you have created that function before using bb.net. Me, I do a Google search and found this code from bbforums.com. I only have two variables in this workflow, the end date and the work days. I initialize the end date variable with the current date and I will add 5 working days for the work days. Now let's add an invoke code activity. Copy the code from the bbforums.com, click edit code, and paste the code. Invoke code activity does not support functions, methods, and procedure. So we need to make some modification to this code. Remove the start and end of the procedure or function, this initialization, and the return. It's okay to save the code. We get an error because there are variables in the codes that are not declared. To resolve that, we will add arguments. Let's create one argument for the end date and another for the work days. End date variable should be of type date time and the direction is IO or input output. Assign the variables. Let's use a lag message to print the result date. Click run file. And we have the same result using the invoke code activity and a simplified workflow. Here I have a simple scenario using the invoke code activity. The workflow has one variable named first name of type string. Then I assign a coding value to it, then use the invoke code activity. In the code, I create a variable named out name and assign a module value to it. I added an argument to it. Name it out name of type string and use out direction, then assign the first name variable. Then I added a log message that will print the value of the first name variable. What do you think will be the output? Will it be coding or module? Well, let's try it and the result is module. That is all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.